one, two. Hello, Hawk. This is the uh, Alabama Spooky 4-1, buddy. Um, thought I'd make you a tape here of some of the missions we recorded. We recorded all our missions that uh, we fly. And I got a couple of three tapes here that's got some conversations on it that uh, might interest you. So um, the first tape I've got is on the uh, 31st of October and the 1st of November. Then I've got another one that uh, was recorded. I wasn't on a mission uh, about the time you pulled out of the firebase station over there with your troops and you fell in that bomb crater. And then I've got the last mission that we flew over there on the uh, 30th of November. I guess you know by now that the uh, Spookies are no more, which we kind of hate to see. And we enjoyed coming over there this last month and helping you boys out, even though the uh, situation there was kind of bad with those guys kicking that stuff in on you. I guess I'll quit shooting the bull. By the way, my real name is Al Dykes, and uh, I'm hoping sometime we can run into each other. But I'll quit shooting the bull right now and see if I can't make some uh, recordings here for you. Hope you can get a cassette to play these things on. So stand by, old buddy. Shadow 6-1, Spooky 4-1, Victor. One. All right, you'll be advised we're at 9.5 at the present time. Uh, Roger, sir. Thank you much. Spooky 4-1, this is Chicken Hawk. Roger, Chicken Hawk. This is 4-1. Go. Chicken Hawk, are you on Victor? Over. 6-1, this is Chicken Hawk. Uh, 4-1, there's Shadow. Chicken Hawk, 6-1, Chicken Hawk is on fire. Okay, buddy, is he still Roger. in the entire area? See, we heard him talk to you once, so I tried to call him back, couldn't get an answer. Chicken Hawk, Chicken Hawk, Spooky 4-1, Fox Mike. Oh, uh, Roger, uh, Spooky 4-1, are you picking me up? Roger, loud clear. 4-1, Have you up there, uh, about how far are you from my location? Uh, stand by one. Turn the Fox mic up back a little, please, and watch yes, your DME. 36 DME off channel 117. Good luck on Okay, Chicken Hawk, we're about uh, 15 minutes out, over. Chicken Hawk, Chicken Hawk, Spooky 4-1. Chicken Hawk, Chicken Hawk, Spooky 4-1. Yeah, can okay, turn your lights down, please? Roger. SP4-1 from Shadow 6-1, do you read? Roger, I read you, last clear. I don't know if they advised you, we left the Lulu for you to help you mark the camp. It's about uh, 200 meter uh, zero, 080 bearing from his camp. Uh, Roger, sir, appreciate it much. Sir, do you have contact with uh, Chicken Hawk at this time? Roger, we do. Okay, he's talking to me and he comes in sometimes and sometimes he don't. Uh, can you ask him if he reads me, please? I think he's been reading you okay. Uh, Chicken Hawk, you're reading spooky, aren't you? Yeah, this is the Hawk at this end. I can hear him loud and clear, loud and clear. Roger, he's reading you loud and clear for one. Uh, Roger, I read you that time, Chicken Hawk. How do you read me now, over? Lo okay, Chicken Hawk, you were broken. I'll give you a call back in a few minutes. Ask Shadow if he's above a flare right now. We got a plane at 11 o'clock. He's at 9-5. Okay, but I wonder if that's him or a different aircraft. Above a plane, above a flare? Right. Uh, Shadow 6 1, uh, Spooky 4 1, Victor. Shadow 6 1, Spooky 4 1, Fox Mike. Go ahead, 4 1, 6 1. Roger, we see a plane out here that uh, seems to be up above a flare. Uh, would that be you? That'd be, we're on our way home at this point. Uh, Roger. Did you flash a landing light? Roger. Roger, we just flashed landing light. Uh, Roger, we're almost due west of your position. Uh, Roger, we have you in sight. I'll be putting out a strobe for you, a strobe, uh, right on our fire base here. We only got one, uh, and it's low on battery, so I'm gonna put it in, let you get a real good adjustment, and then I gotta turn it off. Is this okay with you? Uh, right with that. And, uh, Chicken Hawk, uh, Outlaw 25 said that he'd like for us to just kind of fly around for a little bit before we start expanding or dropping too many flares. 
So we can uh, extend our time with you, over. That's a roger, roger, roger on that, buddy. Uh, like I was telling the uh, 6 one, uh, I've worked in before, real good people there, and uh, as long as they hear you up there, and you put out a little bit here and a little bit there, they're not going to try a hell of a lot because they know what you people can do. They know you get chewed up every time they move with you people up there. Uh, roger that, and uh, by the way, Chicken Hawk, happy Halloween, and the spookies are out. <laughs> roger, roger that. Listen, have I ever worked here before? I was over here the other night, buddy. Okay, real fine, real fine. I'm glad you're familiar with the area. Then, uh, I'll give you a little update on today. This has been the heaviest yet. Uh, we took all kinds of shit today. I ain't kidding you. Every time we turned around, we were getting it. So that's why when, I, when I'm directing you all around our perimeter, uh, believe me, it, it's all there. All right, buddy. And I got a question to ask you. Uh, is your position on top of a scraped off hill with the uh, about 50 meters away from your perimeter of the tree line to start and then just north of your position another bald hill with a clump of trees right in the center of it that's us baby you've been here before uh, roger i know where you're at so okay uh to our uh november whiskey to our november whiskey we have friendlies we have friendlies out there so uh, i won't be working you too much in that area You're not over maybe about uh, two two hundred meters out over uh roger and how far out from your november whiskey are the friendlies well i know so on that buddy uh, i got that down bad here uh, i don't want to put that kind of information out but uh, no problem there uh, i got them uh real good safe distance in there between them okay we'll be staying with you Sorry, say again. He was talking to us on Fox Flight. Roger, he was talking to us on Fox Flight. What'd you want? Sorry, I thought I had my switch up and I didn't. Uh, I was just wondering what the name of that place was. What's the name of our location out there? Blue Prime. Roughly, roughly Blue Prime. And we're coming up on two, four, zero, one, four, five, three miles, right? All right, can you see anything out there yet? Oh, uh, it looks like some lights out at about 11 o'clock. I think they have a pretty good bad guy land, though. They look pretty far away. All right, well, they got a, a couple of compounds over here to the west of us. They work at just one of the outposts out of Blue Prime. Okay. Unjust chaser, unjust chaser, unjust chaser. This is Chicken Hawk, Chicken Hawk, over. Unjust chaser, unjust chaser. This is Chicken Hawk, Chicken Hawk, over. <laughs> Victor. Chicken Hawk, Chicken Hawk, just chaser and just chaser. Outlaw 2-5, are you calling? 2-4-1. Negative on that, sir. Uh, somebody was calling 2-5. Uh, two, uh, two uh, go ahead, please. This is 2-5. Mine's on the way. 2-5, uh, this is 2-5. Uh, Chicken Hawk, Chicken Hawk, over. Chicken Hawk, Chicken Hawk, over. Okay, uh, this is on just chaser. Uh, we requested them. When we get them, they'll be right out to you. Okay, I guess I can't ask for anything more. Uh, thank you much, and uh, I'll be waiting for him. And I sure hope you got him in, get him in here tomorrow, because uh, uh, I'm going to need him tomorrow night. Roger, Roger. I'm just chaser. Be standing by. You know, all this stuff is great to make it to another duck lop. Okay, we're 50 DME. Roger. And coming up shortly on 240. Spooky 401, this is the hawk. Bad hawk 401. Okay, buddy, I hear you. Uh, Roger, just direct us in, and we'll save all the life we can in here in an hour. Okay, buddy, I'm going to put out my strobe here in about uh, zero 02. Okay, we'll be looking for it. Okay, back in. Uh, the guy on the ground is going to put a strobe line up in about uh, 1 minute and 30 seconds. People looking out should be uh, yeah, right now. It's right off our nose. I'll try to roll in where we can see it. And see if we can get a good DME lock when we do. Okay, we're right off our nose. I'll try to roll in where we can see it. Roger, roger. 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 Hawks looking for one. Ah, uh, that's the bad hawk. Go ahead, buddy. Roger, you, uh, five exploration case. That's affirmative. Okay, uh, Juliet wants to know if the resupply has been accomplished, uh, or what's, uh, gone on so far. Way one. Roger. Uh, hey, Spook, uh, you know who this Juliet character is? Negative, I don't. Break, break. Uh, Juliet, identify yourself, please. 
Bravo Mike Tango, uh, division control, over. Yeah, Roger. Roger, Juliet, copy, break, break. Uh, Kate, that's uh, Bravo Mike Tango, division control. Wait, wait. Okay, this is the Hawk. Okay, on resupply stand, uh, we got in uh, everything they sent us today except one. I say again, except the one. It was cut loose and it's uh, sitting in the wood line right now. Okay, and uh, what was that? That was the last one. That was the last one. I'm pretty sure it was from uh, Unjust Chaser's location. Uh, Roger, stand by. Uh, Juliet, spooky 4-1. Uh, Julia, uh, Roger, sir, uh, he relays that uh, they got them all except the last one, and it was cut loose, and it's in the woods somewhere, over. Yeah, Roger, thank you very much. Out. Roger, Roger, 410. Go ahead, Hawk, it's your radio, babe. Oh, thanks a lot, buddy. Hey, uh, listen, I'm going to go down and push you for a couple minutes, uh, but I'll be monitoring you here, so if it takes me a couple minutes to give you a call back, uh, no sweat. Okay, and uh, we'll probably be hanging about ten more minutes before we uh, get ready to start shooting. Roger that. Roger, uh, zero 06 wants to know if you have a copy of the CAC code 223 Alpha Lima or 223 Alpha Kilo, over. Uh, 41, Roger. Alpha Lima 223 and uh, what was the other one? Over. Or Alpha Kilo 223, either one of those. Uh, Uh, 4 one is 3 8 uh, that's affirmative, I've got Alpha Lima 223, or... Roger, stand by, break, break, uh, 06, Spooky 4-1. 06, Roger, sir, he has uh, 223, Alpha Lima. Yeah, Roger, thank you much. Roger. Spooky 4-1. Spooky 4-1. Charter 06, go ahead. Roger, sir. He advises me that he has both of them over. That's 06, thank you much. Roger, 4-1. Sir, I would like to reaffirm that we have clearance to fire with Chicken Hawk. Clearance to fire with Chicken Hawk, over. Uh, Scooby 4-1, this is Carbon Outlaw 2-5. I do not uh, uh, know about the Chicken Hawk. You do have a clearance to fire for PIPA 6-0, PIPA 3-8, Chowder 6-0. Roger, I copy and I found out about chicken off. Roger, Roger, sir, be advised. So now your people three uh has delegated uh chicken hawk uh to you for and if chicken hawk can uh clear it, it's okay. Uh Roger that, good copy for one. Roger. Uh people three eight, this is spooky four one. Four one is three eight, go. Uh Roger, sir, uh I just talked with Carbon Outlaw two five and he advises I'm clear to Work with you at six zero and Chowder six zero. He says if you have delegated the authority to uh, Chicken Hawk, I'm clear to expand with Chicken Hawk. Over. Uh, four one is three eight. Uh, uh,
Chicken Hawk sure does have you, Gordy, and we'll sure use you over. Roger right that. I just wanted to make sure from my records uh, that I was cleared with everybody. I was sure I could be cleared with uh, Chicken Hawk, but I wanted to make sure it was official. And I'd like to be stationed out here. But you don't even bitch about not having any water half the day. I'll go along with that. He sure as hell wouldn't get bored, though. Hey, Spook, uh, this is the Hawk. Go, Hawk. Okay, buddy, what's it like upstairs there? Uh, how's the temperature doing? Well, the temperature's a little cool out there. We had to cut on some heaters. Well, roger, roger, it's affirmative. It uh, reminds me kind of like uh, Pearl Harbor, you know, uh, nipping here, huh? Uh, roger that. Well, roger, it's uh, getting a little nippy down here, too, so uh, I'm going to stay inside here until you're uh, ready to start uh, expanding a little bit. It'll probably be another right, uh, 0, 5, 0, 10, huh? Uh, roger, damn it, damn it. I hope it stays cool down there for you. Hey, buddy, uh, <laughs> another day like today, and uh, I tell you, I don't know. Well, what all did they hit you with today, Owen? Well, everything from uh, 57 recoilless to uh, 82 mortars uh, to uh, small arms. And uh, what the hell did I leave out here? Oh, yeah, the, how can I forget the uh, good old B-40 rockets? Roger, I've uh, seen a few of those in my time, too. Roger, I know you have, buddy. I know you have. They left off the kitchen sink. Hey, back in out of the badger, you just copied it. Go ahead, Hawk. Hey, you're up on the world of this a little bit. Uh, who's who's in the limelight here in country? Who's catching the most shit right about now? You boys are catching it, believe me. Is that right? Uh, we're the ones that are catching the most right now in country? That's a roger on that, old buddy. I don't know if that makes me feel good or not. Yeah, I just hope this doesn't turn into another duck lob like last year. Hey, buddy, I'm with you on that. Roger, they uh, got a big orange catch, or uh, rice catch down here uh, on the border of two and three core on one of the blue uh, things. I forgot it was something like nine tons of rice that they had brought in there. Well, roger that, roger that. Uh, I know that area. Uh, I'm from uh, Unjust Chaser's location, which is not too far from here. Uh, yeah, I think you boys know it by a different name or something, but... Uh, this is all I know what uh, I'm in now, and uh, it's been quite a spell. And all of a sudden, my God, overnight it just turned into, uh, well, what it is now. Uh, roger that. Uh, we were talking about it before we got over here. It kind of reminded us of a duck lock last year when we had four spookies overhead all the time. Uh, roger that. Hey, listen, I heard duck lock caught a little bit too the other day. Yeah, we heard they uh, took a little bit. It seems like... Uh, from our intel reports, they're kind of coming in between you down here and uh, spreading out. It's hard to tell what they're going to do. Yeah, it sure is. It sure is. Uh, I don't know what they want with this fire base, but, uh, boy, we better get some stuff in here tomorrow. Otherwise, <laughs> they might just get it. Roger. Uh, it suits all the spooky boys that we could come over here and stay with you in the daytime, too, but they just won't let us. Roger, I understand that. I do understand that. But I tell you one thing. The most important thing uh, we got going for us at night is you boys upstairs. Let me tell you, and they know you're up there. Like I said, uh, they're going to stay down and not going to mess with us too much. And uh, well, it's good to get some sleep here now and again and uh, have some peaceful time. Uh, we got a lot of wear and tear on the boys here. Uh, they're all holding up pretty good, but uh, I don't know. Uh, that battle fatigue is going to get through a lot of people here pretty soon if uh, this shit don't slack off. Yeah, that's right. Now, what you mean? You tell them. Uh, Tell all those guys down there we're pulling for you and we're going to do what we can from up here. I don't have to tell them. They already know it. They already know it. Uh... Oh, shit, ever since the first night. And uh, it really didn't take no building up because you've been living up everything I said and uh, more. Yeah, uh, we're going to try. We were just talking. We wish we had uh, everything in the book that we could stay up here and drop on those guys. But uh, oh, we got some Boku uh, miniguns, so we're going to use what we got. Roger, Roger, on that, buddy. Uh, as long as you got those, we'll keep their heads down and uh, we'll keep this area safe. Okay, and we'll be calling you back here in about five minutes and uh, uh, 
I'll let you start directing this in. We'll see if we can take care of a few of them for you. Okay, buddy. Roger that. 4-1. Man, those guys have got it rough down there. Oh, Peeper 06, Peeper 06, Peeper 8 Alpha, Peeper 8 Alpha. Carbon out, Lot 25 is spooky. 4-1, Victor. Uh, Roger, Carbon, uh, are you able to have a replacement for us when we uh, start to pull off a target? We'd like to keep something over the board head down here all night if we can. Uh, Roger, we've got you scheduled for a 15 minute overlap. That sounds beautiful. These guys have been taking it. We, uh, as soon as we pull off target and get home, we'll be ready to go again. Roger, Roger. Thank you very much. Roger that. Peeper 60, Peeper 8 Alpha. Okay, Van, we got about an hour and 40 minutes before uh, the uh, time I gave him of 3 0, so uh, you want to start now? Okay. Okay. Let's see where I am here. Roger. Zero six, this is six two, over. Okay, it's off the left wing, I believe. This, uh, six two, this is six zero. Okay. Uh, six zero, uh, there's no flares going on there at, uh, this time, over. Uh, six two, six zero, do you see any flares around you anywhere, over? Uh, this is six two, uh, wait one, I'll go out and check. Glad that moon's coming up. Roger that. A little bit higher than it would be doing. Chicken Hawk, Spooky 4-1. Spooky 4-1, this is the Hawk. Roger, buddy. Uh, old lady up here is ready to clear her throat and do a little talking for you. Okay, we're all fine. Tell you what, uh, let's put it to the uh, echo, to the echo of our look. That's the year echo and uh, work it on up to the uh, November echo. How does that sound to you? Roger, that sounds good. We're going to come in right now and uh, drop the flare, and uh, we'll start working on the Echo and Sierra Echo and bring it to the uh, November Echo. Uh, roger, Roger on that. Okay, uh, walk it right in the wood line there, right in the wood line if you can. Okay, now uh, all your friends are inside your uh, perimeter there except the ones uh, to the November Whiskey. Is that Charlie? Uh, that is an indefinite affirmative. Okay, and how far to the uh, edge of the wood line? How close to the edge of the little wood line do you want us to bring it over? I tell you what, you just bring it as close as your little heart does. Let me right in there because uh, we get probes uh, during the night, you know, and they kind of sneak up there when nobody's been watching, and I'd like to surprise them. Uh, Roger that. We've also found out if we shoot out a couple of hundred meters, it drives them into the perimeter also, so we'll start uh, driving them out a little bit. Uh, that's fine, buddy. That's fine. Use every trick you got. Uh, Roger, stand by. Okay, we're ready to go, babe. I'm going to drop the flare take a look at you. 6-2, six, 6-0. Six six about 6 0, this is 6 2. I've uh, got those flares going on fire. I don't see any around okay. my area. You want this, uh, Roger, target fire? Roger, Roger go from the east along the line, right? From north to south? Roger that. Okay. Okay, flare will be light. Just a second, we'll take a look at it. The flares should be uh, quite a bit to the east of his position, but there's a fairly strong wind from the east. 6 0, 8 alpha. Alpha six, yes, Alpha, do you have an echo mark on those X-ray alphas at zero six sent you? Okay, there's his position right there with the pepper. Roger, Roger. Okay, now let's uh, see that ball spot to the east south over there, that little bitty knob. Okay, um, where the uh, buffer is. Yeah, okay, let's start up close to this perimeter there. Those tree lines on the southern edge of it work north. Uh, five, four, Close five. to his perimeter. All right, let's start right along the tree lines and work out. Okay. Let's start right in this uh, valley. Stand there, by. Okay. Right, right, right. okay. Oh, starting sure. with the... Uh, We're coming in hot, 4-1.
Okay, guns on the line. One, slow fire. Oh, line, slow fire, sir. What about this valley right in here? That looks good. The Bahada front. 608, I'll go up a nickel. This is 401. Okay, 401, this is a hot go, buddy. Okay, we're coming in hot. Okay, I'm going to go on the zero. Looks good. Okay, bring it in a little close. Okay, okay three guns on line, sir. Good. You got his position, well Mark, right? Roger, guys. Okay. Just keep it at least to the tree line out. How's that? No, okay. Let's don't shoot over their head. Oh, okay. Okay, you can shoot right in there. Okay, bring, it. bring it up closer to him. Yeah. Hello. Okay. That looks good. Okay. You're still looking good. Okay, and you come a little closer, right on around on this side here, in front of Pippernet. Okay, now bring it up this east side here. Okay. Six two Alpha. Do you have an Echo Oscar Mike for so right. X ray Alpha sent one five five zero? Uh this is six two, we're on wait one on that. Okay. All along that street. Okay, I'll let you bring it a little closer to him next time on that pass. Talking to him, boss. We got plenty of time. Uh, and I'll just fire on the uh, Oh, say so south through the north on the east side there. Keep firing over there. Right. You can put a burst here at the south of the southern perimeter of them. Right, where the pepper is? Yeah, back just a little bit right in by the edge. There you go. Six two six uh eight out to six two out of negative echo Oscar money from that. Okay, Hawk is four one. How are we looking, baby? Hey, this the Hawk, this the Hawk, buddy, hey, you're looking real fine. I was out there watching you. And you're putting it dead in on him, dead in on him, I tell you that right now. Uh I'd like you to put a few rounds on the other side of the uh slopes. All right, as you okay, I'll explain myself here. I mean our camp sits here on this hill. All right, then you go down to each side, you go down the hill, past the waters, and you hit the uh, bottom of the hill and the dense vegetation, and you start going up the other side, up the other slopes. Okay, during the daytime, they're rocking the hell out of us from all points around the camp. So uh, at nighttime, they might just figure it's safe to pull back on the other side of the hill, you know. So uh, anyway, we'll put a few rounds on the other side of the ridge lines here, and maybe we can shake them up a little bit. Uh, right, just that, we'll do it. I'll go off the mic, Al. Bring this ridge line up to the east. Uh, Roger, you got it good, right in there. There's uh, what's up. How's that look? Looks good. We can just kind of work all the way around the fence. Hey, 4-1, this is the Hawk. Uh, are you talking to uh, one of your people over? Uh, sorry about that, Hawk. I was talking to him. I'm uh, giving him good clearance here. Okay, go ahead, buddy. That's uh, that's okay. Uh, I was thought maybe uh, somebody else down here by. directing you. And if it was somebody else down here directing you, I was going to say uh, who. <laughs> no, I just forgot to switch back. I get so excited sometimes. Okay, rush it, everybody. Go ahead. Okay, doke. We're going to drop another player. Don't shoot. Let's see it again. Roger. I'm going to get another flare out here. 628 off of Lopinah.
Alpha. Now they're just on the other side. The first little valley is uh, where they've been taking it. For 6 2 Pete Road Alpha. And okay. we'll just move right on around from there, right on around the southern edge and up the western edge of him there, uh, within about 200 meters of the camp. Work on this side too. Let's see the hill out there above the pipper. Going pretty close to him. Okay, you can work uh, from there right on around to the south and up that other ridge line up there. Okay. That little valley of some uh, green trees right now between us and that little patch in the ball spot is. Uh, they were taking some probes in there too. We can work all that area. Okay. Don't go past that uh, other ball spot to the northwest there. That little tiny one. Okay. Okay, I get out here and roll it. Roger. Hawk, this is 4-1. We're just going to start working all the way around you, babe. Okay, buddy, that sounds real good, real good. Go ahead. Look good. Okay, looks good. As you come over on this side, you see this other clump of trees you can hit to. Right here? Yeah, on this side and the other side. Oh, okay. You're looking good on both places. Okay. Now you see above the pipper over there, uh, right. there's another ridge line right over there. Roger right, that. Work it? Yeah, we can work that one too. Okay. You uh, fly right over them to work it and shoot back this way, back at it. Fly over their heads? Yeah, if you're right over top of them, it's not going to hurt. Okay. Okay, we fire from this side too? Yeah, fine. How's that look? Good. Okay, and right up here where this light is, you know, that's the part of the ridge you can work north and south right up to there. Okay. And, uh, Gunner's gonna let me know when half our ammo is gone. Roger, sir. I lot too fast, Pookie 4 1. We're expanding at this time. Roger, Roger 4 1. This is all out too fast. I copy it. Roger, we'll give you a call when we're half expanded. Roger, Roger. Thank you, sir. Okay, we've got another flare up. Don't fire, I don't see it. Roger. Hey, Spook, uh, this is the Hawk. Go ahead, Hawk. Hey, buddy, have you got anybody coming in to replace you uh, when your time on target is over? You better believe that. We're going to have a 15-minute overlap. Okay, oh, that's what I wanted to hear. That's real fine. Roger, and if they'll let us, we'll be back up here tonight as soon as we can go regenerate. Hey, that's that's real good. That's real good. You're getting some long hours in, aren't you? Uh, we don't mind as long as it's helping you boys out. <laughs> well, that, that's really good. Okay, buddy, I, that, that's real fine. Roger. That was a Lou 1B. Yeah, it's not too bad listen, of a spot. Uh, you know, all you guys that uh, fly these big birds up here, your spookies and your shadows and everything, what do you guys get together and uh, you have a drink someplace every now and again? Uh, occasionally we do. We uh, Some of us drink, some of us don't drink, but we usually get together and shoot over the bull. Okay, listen, when you guys get together, I want it to be known that uh, Chicken Wolf, as I was known in, and Chicken Hawk or the Hawk or whatever, and everybody here just, oh uh, man, without yeah, you guys, I'll tell you, we'd mob you if you came down here for autographs. 
Well, I tell you something, old buddy, if you ever get over to Fan Rang area, you better come in and see the spooks and the shadows, because uh, well, the drinks are on us. <laughs> I sure will, but I think I might be buying a bunch of them, too. Uh, I, I don't know, uh, what do you got, got a kind of a squadron or one unit there that you're all out of? Uh, we got two different squadrons, a spooky squadron and a shadow squadron. Oh, understand. Uh, I don't. I think I've I've worked a bunch of years now. I've worked uh, six ones and uh, of course the four ones and the two one and uh, a couple others uh, off and on and uh, a lot of the other people here. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, Roger that. Uh, most of the shadow six numbers are uh, out of fan rank and uh, all of the sh uh, spooky four uh, numbers are out of uh, fan rank. Oh, okay, buddy. Uh, listen. Uh, when I get out of this stuff, I got a little vacation coming to me anyway, and if I get that way, I'll definitely stop in and see you boys. Uh, roger that. If you miss us, stop in Alabama there, and I'll still buy you a drink. <laughs> okay, buddy, roger that. Uh, ever up north, uh, Illinois way, you got to stop in my place, too. Okay. You're clear. Hey, Vin, let's go over on the west side and hit that hill over there a little bit, too. To the west? Roger. Okay. It's the first hill over here. There's two up, and there's a little, uh, looks like a pussy right in the middle of it. Okay, let me work this since I'm on this side. We'll move over there. Roger. How we look? Look good. We're up and down, up and down. There you go. Look good. And you see these hills over here and that big pushy right in the center? Right. Yeah, you're chewing up some stuff out there. You really are. Okay, Hawk, we're fixing to move over in just a second on the other side. I can uh, work around on those hills a little bit, too. Okay, buddy, drive on. Looks good. Fine, fine. You're still good. Any of that area is... Good area. Four one Grand Pellet Juliet over. Uh, Roger Juliet, this is four one. Go. Pellet Juliet, I understand you're very busy. Sorry to bother you. Our higher, higher request to know uh, if Kate is in contact with Mike Strike Force uh, element that is northwest of his location. Over. Uh, Roger, stand by. Uh, Kate, Kate, Spooky 4 1. Uh, spooky 4 1, Spooky 4 1, this is the Hawk. I'm uh, taking stuff, okay? What do you need? Okay, uh, Juliet wants to know if you're in contact with Mike Strike Force uh, uh, to the north. Over. Roger. Okay, break, break, Juliet. Uh, that's a Roger. This is Juliet. Roger, thank you much. No further out. Uh, Roger, 4-1. Roger that. 4-1, uh, this okay. is Hawk. Looks good. Go ahead, Hawk, 4-1. Hey, are you hearing those uh, explosions? Explosions uh, sound like they're coming coming from the uh, whiskey, the Sierra whiskey over. Uh, negative. I hadn't heard a thing. What does it sound like? Uh, uh, gunfire? No, but it sounds like an arc light. It sounds like a distant arc light. Yeah. Oh, okay. Roger, you got one down here about 10 miles uh, from you. Oh, Roger, that's probably what it was then. Roger, if they get to bother us, we'll shoot at them. <laughs> okay. You're still looking good. Okay, let me get up. You can bring it in a little closer to him on that hill there, uh, Ben. You're coming up on it real pretty right now. Okay. That was it. Yeah, right there. <laughs> there you go. That's where I was wanting. Now there's one on the other side. Just north of that one, a little one we need to hit, too. We'll wait a little. Okay, where all these uh, fires are burning on the ground? Yeah, just a little bit north of it. They're kind of right in the valley. Oh, okay. It's only 75 meters or so north of it. I'll show it to you in a minute. Let's 
Let's make sure we uh, spread this thing out. First. We can shoot a half a load and hold off for a while and then go back and shoot the other half. Roger that. And load also let me know when half the flares are going. Say again, sir. Will you let me know when half of our flares are gone? Roger. Don't. Yes. Don't got, shoot. No, I got another flare. I'll wait for it to be Okay, Hawks, book 4-1, babe. Okay, 4-1, uh, this, uh, this is the Hawk. Uh, listen, can you wait one minute? Uh, Roger, we'll wait. Hold up, point five minutes, babe. Okay. Let him tell us, Hawk. This is the Hawk, go ahead. Uh, Roger, Hawk, you know how the trees come up behind your position there to the north, kind of cut off those two ball hills, one that you're on, one just north of you? Well, roger, Roger, only too well. Okay, uh, we're going to work that over a little bit, it's all right with you. Fine, buddy, fine, go ahead. Okay, and uh, where else would you like for us to move? We're trying to work over all the little peaks and ridge lines around you. Uh, listen, uh, you got the peaks and ridge lines around here, and uh, that'll be fine. Okay, and uh, we're going to try to stay about uh, 200 or 300 meters uh, from uh, your November whiskey. We're not going to get much past that. Uh, roger, roger, roger. That was it. Looks good. Looking good. You work all that tree down there. Hey, Hawk, this is 4-1. 4 one, uh, this is a hot go, buddy. Roger, uh, can you tell if our bullets are hitting the ground? Uh, roger, roger, uh, wait one. Hey, Hawk, I'm just kidding you. 
God damn it, buddy, you had me going on that one. I'll say that. I figured I would. Okay, Vin, uh, let's see how much ammo we got roughly left. Uh, approximately 9,000 left, sir. Half a load. Okay, let me stand by, man. We got skull for a minute. Okay, we've got uh, about an hour and ten minutes. Why don't we hold off for a while? Skull. Why don't we hold off for a while? Roger, Cole. We can hold off to about one o'clock and then uh, fire out in 30 minutes and uh, hope to stay with them in another uh, 15 or 20 minutes. Okay. Uh, Hawk, this is 4-1. 14 flares remain. 4-1, uh, this is Hawk, go, buddy. Uh, Roger, uh, we're down to about uh, half a load right now. What we're going to do is we're going to stay up here for about uh, 40 minutes and just orbit the area. And then we'll come back in and uh, work off the other half of our load and then stay with you up to about, uh, oh, pretty close to 1 o'clock. Or pretty close to 2 o'clock. Uh, roger, roger that, buddy. Okay, uh, when you come back in to work off that other half, uh, don't work it all off, okay, in case something happens? Oh, you know it. We're going to say something. Uh, roger, roger on that, buddy. Uh, sounds real fine. Now, I'll let you know if something happens here. We get a target here, and I'll bring you right back down. Okay, and if you want to rest a little bit, we're uh, watching up here for any muzzle flashes or anything else, so we'll keep you posted if we see anything. Okay, certainly appreciate that. Roger, and I'll uh, leave you alone uh, for about 20 or 30 minutes, and then I'll have a little combo check with you. Uh, roger, roger, okay, uh, if you don't give me the first time, give a couple calls, a lot of calls, okay? Uh, roger, and if I don't get you then, I know what your coordinates are, and we'll wake you up. <laughs> Uh, uh, I tell you what, uh, I think I better stay away for this. That's okay. Okay, buddy, uh, I'll be waiting here for a minute. Roger, 4-1. Yeah, how you see those bomb craters on that hill to the north of it? Yeah, I was just looking at those. That's a pretty good wind, I have to tell you. Carbon outlaws too fast, spooky 4-1, Victor. I drew out the spooky 4-1, it's now law 2 5, go ahead. Roger, sir, we're down to half a load at this time, and uh, we plan to hold off to about zero one hundred. Uh, come in at that time and expend uh, a few more, and then hold off with a few thousand rounds left until uh, somebody gets over here close to relieve us, and then expend the rest of it in uh, RTB and regenerate over. Uh, Roger, Roger, sir, I copy that. Be advised, uh, Shadow 48 will be uh, re relieving you, and uh, he should be up here around. Uh, zero, zero, four, zero. They are launching him at 15 pass, over. Okay, and uh, is he coming out of fan rank? Uh, Roger, I imagine so, sir. Okay, uh, when you get a, uh, an ETA of about uh, 15 or 20 minutes on him, uh, that seems pretty fast right now if he launched at 1-5 to get here in 25 minutes. But uh, when he gets about 15 or 20 minutes out, if you'll give us a call, we'll go ahead and expand and get back and regenerate. Uh, Roger, I'll call it, sir. All right, sir. Uh, chicken hawk's looking 4-1. 4-1, this the hawk go. Uh, Roger, I just talked with 2-5, and, uh, he says that there's Shadow 6-4, I believe it is, is coming in here in about, uh, 20 or 30 minutes. So, uh, he's gonna give us a call when he's about 20 minutes out, and we'll come back in and, uh, expend all of ours and let him, uh, relieve us. We'll go back home and regenerate, probably launch and come on back up. Okay, buddy, that sounds uh, real good, real good. Uh, we'll work on that schedule then. Uh, Roger, I'll give you a call when we get ready to go again. Roger, Roger. Roger. Roger, that's fine, buddy. I'm uh, breaking a message now. I'm breaking an operations uh, media message now, and uh, I'll keep up with you, though. Oh, okay, we'll give you a call back here in a little bit. Roger, Roger. Charlie? Uh, Roger, uh, 
Coach uh, Scooper, be advised that uh, when we get replaced, uh, we will RTB to Channel 75 and regenerate. We would like to come back to this target to relieve 4-8 if possible. Uh, Roger, and you might pass on that these people uh, would like to have coverage all night long and would be happy to come back. Roger, we would like to relieve 4-8. That's Spooky 4-1. All right, uh, regenerate, and uh, we probably will be able to use you to replace 4-8 later on. Uh, Roger, thank you, 4-1. Holy crap, up down there. Oh, 4-1, okay, buddy, I gotta go down and push you and uh, clarify this message. Uh, I'll be right with you. Oh, no sweat, we're in no hurry. Say again, Van. Did uh, Scooper have any answer on whether another one is to regenerate? Uh, no, but I'm sure we're going to regenerate. Uh, he's going to try to ask the DO to let us repl replace uh, the other. <laughs> chicken Hawk, Chicken Hawk, Spooky. 401, Fox Mike. Uh, 401, this, uh, this is Chicken Hawk's buddy. Over. Uh, Roger, Chicken Hawk, buddy. Uh, we're going to be dropping a flare here in about three or four minutes. Then I'll find target again. Start expanding, and we've got uh, Shadow 48. Should be on target in about 15 minutes, and we'll point it out to him. Also, be advised that uh, we got another friend up above us here. Going to sniff around a little bit and see what he can find for us. 4-1, uh, that sounds real good. Uh, we sure appreciate you guys out there, and I uh, sure appreciate the fact that uh, you're going to let Shadow uh, that's coming in. Give him all the good poop over. Roger that, and uh, we've already put in a request with our hires and uh, trying to get permission for us to uh, regenerate and come back over and stay the rest of the night with him. Uh, we'd sure like having you with us. Uh, we really like working with you. Uh, thanks a lot, over. Roger that. Uh, do you want me to stay on this push, or should I take that other push that I was given for after 2,400 hours? Okay, for one, uh, the SOI change uh, has been uh, indefinitely postponed until further notice, so we'll be right where we are right now. Uh, this business uh, about 2400, you can forget about it. Okay, and uh, one more question. Uh, will I be working Chicken Hawk or will I be working you? Uh, you'll be working both of us. Okay, is he on another push right now? Uh, same, same. Uh, he's uh, pushing on the floor now. Oh, roger that. Fire on ground contact. We have it from Bracket Scooper. I'd like for you to affirm that. 3862, over. Uh, roger, roger, sir. Uh, you do have uh, permission to fire upon the uh, uh, ground commander's face, so. 62 to 38, over. 3862, over. I'll be uh, for shooting. 62, 62. Roger, anytime you are. Okay, load, uh, standby, sir. You uh, can fire under their command, over. Uh, Roger, I'd like for your peep that. I got a peeper 38. Peeper 38, peeper 38, peeper 60. Roger, peeper 38, 60, and chowder 60. Over. Uh, Roger, peeper 38, peeper 60, and chowder uh, 38. That's a negative, sir. Chowder 60. Uh, Roger, chowder 60. Like okay, let me uh, affirm this. Peeper 38, peeper 60, and chowder 60. Uh, Roger, Roger, sir. These are the three people. Uh, who can uh, give you permission to fire, and they also have uh, permission to delegate uh, this authority, so uh, there are some sites down, down in the area, and you can talk to uh, Spooky41. He has also worked okay, uh, with uh, the other people tonight. Uh, Roger, I understand, and I will be coordinating with Spooky41 and looking for these three contacts. Thank you very much. Uh, break, break. Uh, Carbon Outlaw 2, five, Spooky41. Uh, Roger, Roger. 41, it's 2 five. Go ahead. Okay, we're going to be uh, expanding again here in about uh, three minutes, and break, break, uh, Shadow 48, this is Spooky 41. Uh, Roger, Spooky 41, Shadow 48, go ahead. Uh, Roger, uh, Peeper 38 has uh, delegated the uh, firing to Chicken Hawk, Chicken Hawk on the uh, Fox Mike push, if you have that, we're bothering him over. Uh, uh, Roger, I have the uh, Fox Mike push, we Chicken Hawk is the one that you're working under right now. Uh, Roger, Chicken Hawk, and he's got a buddy down here, and be advised that that uh, frequency we had for after 2,400 hours, 
uh, disregard that for the present time. Use the one that you had before 2400 hours. Uh, Roger, I only have one frequency here, and uh, I'll uh, try to contact him on that, and if I can't get him, I'll get in touch with you to get the frequency. Uh, Roger, I'll give you a push if you can't get it, and uh, we're going to break away right now and uh, start working some more. Uh, Roger, I understand. Thank you. Uh, Roger that. Uh, understand. Uh, we'll work it up again. And, uh, uh, Roger, I understand. Four zero miles. Okay. Uh, Roger that. And, uh, and I... I don't, we're not worried particularly in, in the ones that are the light shrapnel uh, stuff with the uh, uh, scratches and stuff. Uh, primarily the uh, seriously wounded, the ones that were medevaced in Kilo Indy Alpha. Okay, I'll pop of uh, uniform and picture now. We ready to start working? Oh, anytime we're ready. A few minutes, I think. I think Shadow's probably 15 minutes or so out. Yeah, let me. Uh in contact with my buddy down there. Okay. I'm Josh Chaser. Uh, this is uh, 38. Uh, uh, Roger, we'll send you that stuff as soon as we get to it. Uh, right now, uh, I'll take care of a shadow and, you know, I think it's good. Over. That's not just Chaser. That's affirmative. Okay, uh, I don't know about zero 06, but if you want to pass on to me, uh, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, if you just want to wait till in the morning, you can if he needs it faster than that. But uh, I'll be here all night. Just throw it to me uh, sometime before. Six, seven, eight tomorrow. Hey, Vin, you see where that light's burning on the ground? Roger that. Uh, Which one? Right there at uh, in front of the Pipper Low. Go before seven, because he's going to have close to us here. Yeah, let's work that whole flat top uh, area there when we start shooting. Okay. Let me get this guy again. Fortune teller. Over. Roger out. Uh, break, break, Chicken Hawk, uh, Spooky 4 1, or Chicken Hawk's buddy, Spooky 4 1, over. Uh, this is Chicken Hawk's buddy. Okay, Chicken Hawks, buddy, we're ready to shoot. Pull it on there, buddy. Okay, we're going to work uh, general areas that we were working again a, a while ago. If you want to move us, let us know. Come on, we'll far. give you a skinny as soon as we get any order. All right, Roger. Okay, baby, let's go. Spooky 4 1, Spooky 4 1, this is the Hawk, over. Hey, Hawk, welcome back. Hey, buddy, I'm only back here for a little while. i got to get some shut out here. Hey, listen, uh, I'll uh, try to talk you in here for a while, and then uh, I'll talk you in uh, if you come back, and when you do, I hope you do. Uh, with this new guy coming in here now, will you brief him on uh, what you've been doing and where you've been shooting, because you're doing an outstanding job there on your own, uh, putting it in where you think is good, and that's exactly where we need it. Uh, could you brief the new guy coming in, too, over? Uh, Roger, I've already given him a small rundown, but we're going to wait for him and uh, show him the area and brief him real good. And uh, we put in a request to uh, turn us around as soon as we get back. We hope our hires will let us come back and spend the night with you. Well, I do too, buddy. Well, I do too. Okay, buddy, listen, uh, I'll be on the floor here. If you got anything for me, uh, feel free to ask for me, okay, buddy? Okay, and I just uh, call is there, chicken hawk buddy, huh? No, Roger, Roger. Uh, that's a fine with me. Okay. Hey, Hawk, you can take this uh, tape now and run all the way through to the end and turn it over, and uh, we'll finish up this uh, part of the mission on the other side, old buddy. You know, it might not hurt to put a little fire around those fires that are burning down there. They might be cooking up uh, fish heads and rice with that. Okay. Hey, Hawk Buddy, Hawk Buddy, it's Spook 4-1. How's things going? Chicken Hawk Buddy, Chicken Hawk Buddy, how's things going? Uh, 4 one, this is Hawk's Buddy. Uh, really going fine there. You're doing an outstanding job. Uh, just keep moving around. Uh, that's all we can ask of you. Okay, uh, if you have no special area, we're going to work up down the east side and the... Uh, Sierra side and the whiskey side a little bit. Now that sounds real fine. Uh, that whole, all the way around us, uh, we get shit all day long. All right, Jerry. Uh, we also working over these little fires that are burning from nape, I guess, out here. We feel like they may be cooking up rice and fish heads. We want to cut a little of that out. That's it. We'll starve them. So and so is out. I'm with you, buddy. Break, break, shadow four eight. This is spooky four one. You copy on Fox Mike. Uh, Roger, Spooky 41, Shadow 48 here. Break, break, Chicken Hawk, uh, Shadow 48. Uh, Shadow 48, Spooky 41, Shadow 48.
Shadow 4-8, uh, you'll be uh, working Chicken Hawk Buddy, B-U-D-D-Y. Chicken Hawk's laying on the floor getting some sleep, so we just call him Hawk Buddy. Uh, roger that. Chicken Hawk Buddy, Shadow 4-8. Okay, Vin, let's go around on the south there a little more. Hey, see that little ball spot right there in the pipper? All right. Let's hit that all around. 4-1, that's the Hawks, buddy. Go ahead, Hawk, buddy. Our to the Hawk here. Uh, we decided to change my uh, call sign here. We're going to call me the Beak. Uh, I took a piece of shrapnel through the nose. Uh, we thought you'd get a kick out of that. Uh, you took a piece of shrapnel through the nose. That's affirmative. Uh, so from now on, uh, you can just call me the Beak. Okay, Beak, we'll be calling you that then, and uh, how bad was it? Oh, it just made a nice little neat hole clean through, or... Yeah, I got a flash. Well, maybe the uh, boys can fix you up and be advised we just got a flash on the ground. Bring it down, okay, go on this log, buddy. Pour it on, pour it on. Get that son of a bitch. Roger, he's to your echo over on the ridge line over there. We're pouring it on him now. Roger, Roger. Okay, that's a, that's a point. Okay, well, you put it on there is where we've been receiving a lot of stuff from today. All over the Echo side is where we're getting the bulk of it. Oh, Roger that. We're fixing to put it on him. Go ahead. Bring some smoke on his young ass. 4-1, Shadow 4-8. Go ahead, 4-8. Oh, what altitude are you? Say again. What is your altitude? We're coming in at 7-5. Will we be clear? Oh, Roger, we're at 6-0. Coming in at 8-5. Okay, no sweat. Uh, break, break. Hawk Buddy, Shadow 4-8. Uh, Shadow 4 just this is the original Hawk. Roger that. Uh, we'll be coming in, we'll get a good briefing from uh, 401, and then I'll be talking to you on the ground. Okay, that sounds real fine. Uh, you'll be talking to me or the Beak. Roger that. Uh, Shadow 4-8, uh, Hawk Buddy's changed his name to Beak. He uh, got a piece of shrapnel through the nose. Roger that, I'll copy. A flare right over that spot here. Well, that was a nice, it looked like a mortar tube flash to me. Right yes. yes, sir, that's what it looked like to me. Hey, Beak, did y'all take any incoming then? Hey, Beak, this is 4-1. Hey, 4-1, now this is the Hawk. Listen, uh, no, I'm negative on that. We didn't take uh, anything incoming, so I think you've got a secondary. Might have, because it sure looked like a mortar splash. Oh, that's real fine. I hope so, buddy. I hope so. That's uh, one more cruiser we won't have to contend with tomorrow. Roger that. And uh, old Shadow's coming along with some uh, equipment on board, and he might be able to pick out some of this stuff a little better than we can. Well, uh, you'd have to show me. Well, he's got it. He's, uh, he's a second-generation spooky. Okay, buddy, okay. I'm sure he's got some real fine, sophisticated stuff. And uh, the country boys are going to have to take a back seat sometimes, but uh, I don't know. I'm from Missouri. Show me, right? Okay. Uh, he's going to do you a fine job, though. No sweat. We get a I have no doubt of it. No doubt whatsoever. We're all trying to do the same thing. Roger that. Okay, okay I'm going to turn you back it. over to Beak. Okay, step on. Uh, roger that. Roger that. Okay, I'm going to turn you back over to Beak. Okay, step on. Uh, roger that. Spook, this is Shadow. How about uh, you being our PR man for a while? Hey, I don't know if I can handle that or not. You know, I'm getting short. You're a pretty good job, babe. Well, I hope you can use that equipment you got down here. These boys need some help. Man, we'll do our best. Uh, Beak, this is Spooky 4-1. 4-1, this is Beak, over. Okay, we're fixing to drop a flare. Uh, we got one out right now. We're going to go ahead and expand uh, our ammo. We're getting pretty short. And, uh... We're going to try to get uh, Shadow to come up here in just a minute real quick and show you this. Then we're going to have to pull out of the area for just a few minutes. Over. Uh, roger that, full one. Uh, hey, if them guys are going the other way, let them go. Over. Okay, well, they're not going to be able to stay where they're going very long. Uh, 4148, uh, we're going to hold here north, and uh, we will, uh, we see the base down there. So we'll be working with you at, uh, after this other activity is over. Okay, uh, we're going to have to be pulling out as soon as we expand because of uh, fuel. Uh, you say you see the base under our flare? Roger that. Got a good copy on the base. Okay, this thing looks like a big bazaar down here. There's a, a bald area to the north of their camp and their camp. And we've been getting most of the activity off of the uh, eastern slope over here. And uh, Beak down there uh, can work you after we leave, over. 
Roger that. Uh, is this, uh, there a complete perimeter there here on top of the hill? That's a Charlie, and they got about a 50 to 75 meter radius from their uh, perimeter down to the tree lines on all sides. Roger that. And they uh, be advised they do have friendlies to the November whiskey, but they're not being able to tell you how far. Roger, we'll watch November whiskey. Thank you. Roger. Okay, big this is Spooky 4 1. We're going to finish up here. Go ahead, pull it on, 4 1. Roger. Okay, you ready? Roger that. Let's work that whole ridge line over there at our left. Oh, okay. And then I recommend we go north about uh, 15, 20 seconds and hang. And watch. They can put in an arc light, don't they? Sounds like it. Got all their shadow right above us. See ya. Uh, big, this is Spooky 4 1. Roger. 4 1, this is Big Go. Uh, Roger, Big. Uh, we've just expended all of our rounds, and uh, we're going to move north up here for a few minutes and uh, watch the action go on, and uh, when we leave, uh, Shadow will be coming back in here in a little bit. Uh, Roger that. Uh, Shadow 4 8 is going to take your place. Uh, it was great having you guys here, and that was an outstanding job getting that secondary. Uh, uh, we get all kinds of hell from that area. Uh, I heard you inform uh, Shadow 4 8 about it. Uh, we'd appreciate it. Uh, about as much shit as we can get over there. Over. Uh, roger that. And uh, like I say, he's got some uh, uh, pretty cute little things on board there, and he might be able to pick up some things that we don't see. So uh, maybe he can uh, help you out some more, and we're going to go gener regenerate and try to be back over and relieve him. 4-1, uh, uh, it's been outstanding having you here. Uh, the welcome mat's always open. Uh, we'll be looking for you a little later. Over. Uh, roger that. Keep your nose down there, buddy. Sir, your guns are all clear. 4-1, this is the Hawk. Go ahead, Hawk. Okay, buddy, listen, I hope I see you there later on. Uh, you come back in, and uh, when you get back on the stage, up and uh, say hi to me, okay? Roger, we'll do that. And, uh, hey, tell your buddy to keep his nose down. Uh, his comment was no shit. <laughs> I bet his comment was that. Uh, we're going to move north and get out of the way of some stuff going on, okay? Roger, Roger, if at all possible, we'd uh, we'd like to know what's going on, if, if you can. If not, no sweat. All we know where, uh, was we got information to move north of your position or northeast at least one click, so we're just going to walk up here and stand by. Uh, roger that, roger that. I guess we'll get a little bit uh, from uh, Shadow when he comes back and gives us a little bit of information. Uh, roger that, and uh, we'll see you later, buddy. Okay, buddy, take care. Uh, see you in about oh, two, two and a half. I sure hope so. Okay, you want to hold up here for a while, Al? Yeah, I'd like to. Okay, we can be clear of the fence. Uh, oh, Okay, uh, okay, Hawk, this is uh, Alabama again. That was the first mission over there the night of the 30th. And uh, I'm going to give you a few excerpts from the uh, second mission. We flew over there the uh, same night. Actually, it was the uh, morning of the 1st. To give you a little more rundown on uh, how things go up there in the air, uh, I know it probably sounded confusing to you. The uh, pilot has a gun sight up on the left-hand side of the aircraft there in his window. And uh, back where I sit on the left-hand side, I've got a little window that's about 12 inches long and 3 inches wide. And uh, we have got through uh, practice and all, uh, got where we put a grease mark on our window as uh, the navigator's position there. And uh, we can direct the pilot in to 25 meters of where the uh, bullets are going to hit just with our little grease mark. Uh, all the uh, communications, as you probably could tell, on the aircraft is handled through uh, the navigator section, and we can't fire until um, the navigator and the pilot agree on the target, and that's when you hear uh, me saying a couple of times in there, uh, you're clear or you look good. Uh, he's put the uh, pipper, as we call it, on the target, and when I agree with him, then he uh, can go ahead and shoot. So that gives you a little bit of rundown on uh, what's happening. Also, uh, things get a little hectic, as you probably saw a couple of places there. We got about four radios or five radios that uh, we uh, monitor and listen to and have to talk on, so uh, things get a little tight at times. Okay, I'll uh, get a couple of these excerpts out of this second mission we flew over there that we stayed, uh, the second one we stayed till daylight on. So, uh, stand by one, old buddy. Chicken hog, chicken hog. Do you read? Roger. This is the spooky. We're back. Roger, roger. How's everything down there? Pretty good, 
buddy. Pretty good. Uh, how you doing? Okay, complain for an old man. Real fine. About how many uh, mics are you out? Oh, about uh, eight mics out. Okay, real fine. Okay, not to shake you up or anything, but we're going to be firing some uh, direct, direct artillery into the from the November, from the November. It's going to be direct fire, you know, like a bullet. So don't worry, no altitude or nothing. It's going to go uh, on ambush hill. Well, uh, a little preventive medicine, you might say. Uh, I'm with you. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, let me know when uh, you get in a little closer. Uh, we just I'll had some uh, uh, resupply in. Uh, about six uh, uh, choppers came in, and, uh, and we opened up for them, uh, gave them ground cover and everything, and now everybody's reloading magazines and cleaning up their weapons and things. Yeah, the shadow. Shadow. Roger, Roger. We'll call you. Give me some volume, Fox, my place. Okay. Roger, stand by one, let me get it with uh, work that's completely and I'll be in touch with you on the uh, Victor 8. I'm going off uniform now. I'm off uniform. 2-5, uh, Carbon Outlaw 2-5, Spooky 4-1. Roger, Roger, Spooky 4-1 is 2-5, go ahead. Roger, sir, uh, we'll, we'll be uh, clear to expand with uh, Chicken Hawk out here again. 6-2-8 out. Sir, you still have the uh, same set up as you had before. Uh, Roger, thank you, 4-1. Could you uh, ask 3-8 the number? Chicken Hawk, Spooky, 4-1. 4-1, this is the Hawk, over. Roger, I'm going to talk to the Hawk tonight or to the Beak this time. Hello, oh, off and on, you're probably talking to both of us. Oh, Roger that. Uh, how would you like to work this target? We plan to stay with you today, like. Hey, that's real fine, buddy. That's real fine. I wish you could stay with us till uh, tomorrow night. Well, we'll probably be back tomorrow night. Right, but I wish you could stay with us the whole time through. I do too. We like to shoot in the daytime. Yeah, I bet you would there. Yeah, okay. Uh, have you got a target for me or am I going to give it to you? Uh, we're going to work for you tonight. Okay, buddy. Well, what I'm going to say is uh, let's dump some of uh, your good ordnance around the perimeter. Uh, let's rake it around the perimeter one time and then uh, in case you got any notions of sneaking up here now, we'll discourage them a little bit of that. And then uh, if let me know if you pick up anything four. noteworthy as you're going around, okay, buddy? Okay, we'll do that, and uh, how about working about the same way we did before? We'll expand for a little while and then just hang loose for a while. Roger, roger, that's just the way I like to... 383862... Roger that. 6238. Carbon Outlaw 2-5, Spooky 4-1. Uh, 8 off for a question. Uh, Roger, sir. Uh, would you uh, call Ragged Scooper and ask and uh, see if they will extend our crew duty time so we can stay over here till daylight? Uh, we think this target warrants it. Over. Roger, Roger. I'll copy that, sir. What is your uh, bingo time now? Okay, uh, our bingo time is uh, 0815 back over uh, channel 75, so we'll be leaving here about uh, 0700. Uh, Roger, Roger, sir. I'll copy that. Uh and uh, for your information, your uh, your mission number is 4824. Uh, Roger, sir. Good copy. And uh, be advised that uh, we probably will leave here between uh, 0630 and uh, 0700. Over. Roger, Roger. I'll copy that. Stand by one, sir. Roger. Hawk, this is a spook. Not bad for the first flare. Nope. Uh, Hawk, this is a spook. Got a light in the camp. Yes. Hey, spook, this is a hot go. Roger, uh, you're friendly. Is uh, still uh, November whiskey from your position? Well, Roger, Roger, they haven't changed at all. They're still in the same position. They'll remain there all night uh, until daybreak. Uh, Roger, we're going to come in here in just a second and start raking around the camp. Real fine, buddy, real fine. I think I'll be watching for you. Roger. Hey, give me one on the line. Uh, slow fire, gunfire. Roger. Guns are high. Okay, you want to shoot around the uh, tree line, around his perimeter? Else? Roger that. All the way around? Right. Yeah, okay. Hold it a minute. Okay. Okay, okay. I can see it now. Well, okay, start out here. Uh, when I get on it more, we'll move up a little closer. Hey, 
spooked this dog. Go, I'll just spook. Okay, buddy, real fine. Uh, just just keep it up like that and enter in, excuse me, at the interval that uh, that you know best at, okay? Okay, we're going to make it stretch out till daylight. Roger, roger on that. Oh, roger, roger, sir. Uh, what part of Alabama are you from? Hey, I'm up from Gadsden, Alabama. Is that right? I'm from Anderson myself. Hey, good section of the world right there. Roger that. Got some good, yeah, yeah, southern boys down there. They won't get rid of us for three days. Is that right? Roger, we'll stay with them. That's Roger on that. Peeper 62, Peeper 62, over. Thank you, Mark. Uh, this is uh, 3A. Can you uh, relay a message to 8 Alpha? Over. Uh, Roger. Crew there. Uh, Roger, copy 4825, and crew duty time extended. Thank you very much. Roger that. Roger that. This is a spook. This is a hog. This is a spook. Go, hog. Okay, buddy, listen, I'm going to knock it off for tonight. I'm going to go catch a few of these. It's been a pleasure working with you, and I hope I catch you tomorrow night, okay? Uh, roger that. Who am I be working with now, the beak? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think you'll be working with uh, Peeper 38. Peeper 38. Okay, is he down there in the same area you are? Roger, roger. He's in the same place I am right now. Okay, uh, it's been nice working for you. You did a real good job down there, and I hope you get some good sleep. Yeah, so do I. Okay, buddy, uh... If all my pilots were like you, I wouldn't have no trouble at all. Now, uh, vote thanks to all you guys tonight, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow night, okay, buddy? Uh, roger, roger. Take it easy. Roger, good night. Uh, okay, Hawk, that was the uh, second mission over there that night. Uh, we stayed around till daylight, you probably remember. And not much else happened. We came in uh, after the fighter strikes at daylight and uh, shot on those uh, uh, B-40 rocket positions that were firing into your camp there. Um, I'm going to put in another tape here now on, uh, oh, I don't remember the date on the thing, but uh, Captain Wells was the navigator on this one. And uh, this was the night that y'all were, day and night that y'all were uh, pulling out of the area. There's a few parts on there I thought you might like, so uh, stand by and I'll put some more of this on. Boys, tell them we're circling at 8,500 right above them. Actually, that's a lot of shit, huh? Alright, I'm going to understand, right? Then we'll be clear to drop the plane in a minute for a minute. Hey, Frank, so we're moving out, buddy, we're moving out! Okay, Hawks, this isn't bad. Now you're going to have to talk slower if you want these people to talk to you. And stand, 401, stand by just one second. Listen, Lloyd, we're circling there. above at 8,500.